Thanks for joining me here at the studio for some Benny Barr talk. Today, I want to take a moment away from the bar and off the mat to talk about an important topic for me, which I see with clients and friends a lot, and it's about becoming someone who follows through. Do you really want to become someone that follows through? If you're currently creating big goals for yourself or talk about how you want huge change but quickly lose momentum and never seem to follow through and thus believe that you've tried but couldn't do it, you may need to rewrite your script altogether. Let's forget failed attempts, forget them. They don't determine your future success, so if they are holding you back, let's let that go. Some of the underlying problem right here, perhaps said failed attempts have led you to doubt and skepticism about yourself. And you continue to say that you'll do things without actually believing that you will. Or you set these big lofty goals that you know you won't continue because you don't actually want to do the tremendous amount of work that you believe it involves. This type of thinking may have you at a standstill. But really, think about this. If you had a friend that constantly made plans with you and bailed frequently, when they say to you, I'd love to, I'll be there, do you actually believe them? Or do you doubt them until they prove it? And are you currently being that type of friend to yourself? Maybe you always show up for other people, but maybe your integrity is in question with following through about what you say to yourself. So let's talk here about a couple of steps for building integrity and momentum for yourself. Number one, make goals and break them down into small and easy steps. Like stupidly easy. Of course you're going to follow through and do it. It's that easy. So, So this is going a little bit into the Kaizen principle. Stupid, easy steps, little and easy. Eliminate that fear that you can't actually do it because you know right up front, of course I can do this. It's so stupid and easy. Number two, do what you said you would do. It's easy to do it, right? Remember our first step? And you really want the goal, therefore you want to take these steps. So do what you really want to do and follow through. Number three, stop the trend of broken integrity. Don't make promises to yourself that you don't intend to keep and prove to yourself that you do what you say. Talk is just that. Follow through is everything. And your own follow through will provide evidence for you that you do what you say. Number four, start momentum with small steps and don't take large leaps that are too big for you to even make or that just might lead to discouragement. Make small goals and take small steps towards your goals. Number five, number five, trust yourself. You are trustworthy. I'm gonna say that again so it sinks in. You are trustworthy. If you've proven that to be false in the past, redefine yourself now with your actions moving forward. You deserve to be trusted. And because you want to be trustworthy, do what you say you're going to do. Mean what you say and say what you mean. If you want to be someone that follows through, then really, really meaning what you say to yourself is important. I love this quote from Dr. Seuss. It's so relevant. I meant what I said and I said what I meant you know the rest, an elephant's faithful 100%. So don't just have this talk about all these things that you want to do. Oh, I'm so going to do that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. And then, you know, a week later you stop. So we're coming into the month of February. You may have found that you set a bunch of goals for yourself that were maybe too big or didn't follow through, or you didn't believe in the first place and you're already off of them, right? Let's think rather now moving forward about being somebody who follows through. 
If I really want to do something, then I'm going to commit to it. If I say that I'm going to do these simple steps towards it, then that's what I'm going to do. You absolutely deserve to be someone that follows through on what you say to yourself. And you may be someone that follows through for everybody else and shows up for them, but when it comes to you, you might not actually follow through with yourself. So that's my challenge here. If you want to be someone that actually follows through and does what they says they're going to do and sticks to things, then really the steps to getting there are really simple. Let's build integrity with ourselves, build confidence, and start that forward-moving momentum.